Hi guys, it's Miss Thrash coming to you today with another exciting read aloud. The title of our story today is Moon Bear's Shadow. The author, as well as the illustrator, is Frank Ash. While I'm reading today, I want you all to locate the star, who is our main character, the heart, who are the other characters, locate the globe, which is our setting, Use your magnifying glass to locate the problem. And lastly, use your toolbox to help fix the problem. All right, guys, let's jump right in. Here's our title page. And our dedication page. One day, Bear went down to the pond with his fishing pole and a big can of worms. While he was putting a worm on his hook, he looked down and saw a big fish. I'm going to catch that fish, thought Bear to himself. But when Bear stood up to throw his line in the water, his shadow scared the big fish away. Go away, shadow, cried Bear. But Bear's shadow would not go away. Okay, said Bear. If you won't go away on your own, then I'll just have to get rid of you. And he put down his fishing pole and began to run. He ran around the pond. When he got to the other side, he kept on running. Do you guys think Bear is going to outrun his shadow? Hmm. Let's keep reading and see. He ran through a field of flowers, jumped over the brook, and hid behind a tree. Good, thought Bear. Now Shadow can't find me. But Bear was wrong. When he stepped out from behind the tree, the first thing he saw was Shadow. Nearby was a cliff. Bear walked over to the cliff and looked up. I'll climb so high, Shadow won't be able to follow me, thought Bear. Let's keep reading and see what happens. Bear climbed higher and higher until at last he pulled himself up to the top. Huffing and puffing, he smiled with pride. Then he looked down and saw Shadow. Now very now Bear was very annoyed. So he went home and got a hammer and some nails to nail his shadow to the ground. He hammered and hammered and hammered, but no matter how many nails he hammered, he couldn't nail his shadow down. If I can't nail him down, thought Bear, maybe I can bury him. So he got his shovel and dug a hole. When the hole was deep and wide, he let his shadow fall in the hole. Then Bear filled in the hole with dirt. When he was finished, it was almost noon. 
The sun was high in the sky. Shadow was nowhere to be seen. At last, sighed Bear. No more shadow. Why do you think that is? But now, Bear was very tired. So he went inside and took a little nap. While he slept, time passed and the sun once again cast shadows everywhere. When Bear got up and opened his door, he saw his shadow on the floor. Not you again, exclaimed Bear. And he slammed the door, hoping to lock Shadow inside. But Shadow was too quick. Hmm, <sighs> sighed Bear. How about this? If you let me catch a fish, I'll let you catch one too. Nod your head like this if it's a deal. When Bear nodded his head, Shadow nodded too. So, Bear went back to the pond and once again, through his line in the water. By this time, the sun was in a different part of the sky, which made it easy for Shadow to keep his part of the deal. You guys see? Now the sun is in front of Moon Bear. And when Bear caught that big fish, Shadow caught one too. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed Moon Bear Shadow. Can't wait to read again.